హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ లైఫ్ సైన్స్ విత్ కేఎండి టుడే ఐమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ పెన్సీలియం అండ్ హ్యాస్పర్జిలస్ మార్ఫలాజికలీ ఇఫ్ వీ టేక్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ యాస్పర్జిలస్ అండ్ పెన్సీలియం ద కొనీడియో ఫోర్ ఆఫ్ యాస్పర్జిలస్ ఈజ్ అన్సెప్టెడ్ అండ్ అన్బ్రాంచ్డ్ ఇట్ అరైజెస్ ఫ్రమ్ అ స్పెషలైజ్డ్ టీ షేప్డ్ థిక్ వాల్డ్ ఫుడ్ సెల్ whereas in case of penicillium it is long slender and septate here you can see there is a septa and it is branched it arises from any vegetative cells of the mycelium so there is no food cells whereas in case of uh, aspergillus there will be a food cell which led to the conidiophore in case of aspergillus the conidiophore it enlarged into a vesicle at its tip it bears finger like stereogameta the whole structure has the form of a spherical head the conidio four of penicillium end in a whorl of branches which gives it a broom like appearance so in case of aspergillus the peridium is quite soft whereas in case of penicillium the peridium of cleistothecium is thicker and generally consists of loosely interwoven hyphae the ascogonium of aspergillus a small loosely coiled septa septate hyphal branch later it become tight and close the archicarp arises from the vegetative hyphae whereas in case of penicillium a long erect multinucleated a septate here it is septate whereas it is in case of penicillium it is a septate tubular structure at the time of upper end at times the upper end of ascogonium may be curved like a handle of umbrella many aspergillus species cause diseases known as aspergillosis which affect lungs whereas the penicillium produce antibiotics that are effective against gram positive bacteria thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you